Alright. So selamat datang uh, Cik Sharin and Ibu Des Arianti. Uh, so my, let me give you a little, a little bit description about myself. Uh, my name is uh, Muhammad Imran, nama saya Muhammad Imran. Uh, daripada UITM Perak, Kampus Tapah. Hmm. Bukan dia di Kampus Riz Kandar. And saya bidang uh, Science Computer. Ha. Ada okay. hari di sini Science Computer. Tetapi uh, bila saya membuat, uh, when I was doing my PhD, uh, I picked up statistics lah. Sebahagian daripada uh, research saya memerlukan uh, apa tu? Uh, uh, interpretation atau statistical interpretation lah sebab uh, bidang saya information system so I was uh, looking at survey uh, how to pro, apa, how to do survey I mean how to do survey uh, how to analyze uh, PLS and SPSS and all that lah so daripada situ I've got my knowledge on statistic tetapi uh, knowledge yang saya ada ni bukannya datang daripada pure statistician kalau kita tanya pencara-pencara statistik, uh, berbeza lah. Nanti kita sama-sama pening dengan mereka. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. knowledge yang, sedia, uh, yang saya ada ni ialah berpandukan kepada non-statistician. Kepada kita-kita yang tiada background statistik. Uh, so, tiada background statistik dia, pemahaman dia berbeza sedikit lah. Kalau you ada background statistik, memang kena fokus lah. Tetapi daripada uh, myself yang Tiada background statistik, so pemikirannya berbeza sedikit. Uh, hanya, I mean, uh, but it's enough for your analysis. Okay. Uh, so, uh, if you have any question, kalau ada soalan uh, hari ini ataupun bila-bila, as you go along your research, you can just contact me. Ada dalam uh, my phone number is all there. And kalau saya boleh jawab, I will answer for you. Kalau, kalau saya tak boleh jawab, I will ask my friends lah mana yang bidang pure statistik lah. Tapi for the basic knowledge, Alhamdulillah insyaAllah okey lah. Okay. Tapi kalau yang mungkin ada juga yang uh, yang advanced level, I will point you to the right direction insyaAllah later. Okay. So okay. that is a little bit uh, for our introduction. And uh, insyaAllah our class will run from 5 to 7. Tapi saya tidaklah sekejam itu <laughs> sampai 7 o'clock. Uh, kita habis bila kita habis. My uh, idea is we finish when we finish and normally we'll finish early lah. Okay, normally we'll finish early. Uh, just before I uh, I start my lecture for today, uh, just to remind uh, yourself and myself, our classes is 15 uh, of April, 22nd of April and sepatutnya 29 kan? Yes. Okay, yang mm -hmm. 29 tu, we, can we postpone the class or carry forward the class Oh, uh, kita postpone ke hari lain uh, selepas IDP3 ke before IDP3 ke macam mana sebab 29 tu I have to go and pick up saya terpaksa pick up my daughter di sekolah di asrama so memang 29 tu uh, saya tak ada lah so uh, can you come up with nanti you discuss uh, among yourself ke apa can you come up with the okay. date yang kita boleh um, carry forward ke depan ataupun kita awalkan pun tak ada masalah. Most of the evening saya free. Uh, most of the time saya free lah. Uh, evening memang saya free lah. Uh, so kalau kita nak carry, uh, just for that date je lah. Just untuk 29 saja. Okay, yang lain-lain tu uh, okay lah tak masalah. Selepas saya tu tak masalah. Tapi if you feel that macam susah, then we can extend the class. Nanti saya beritahu uh, Dr. Shikin, kita akan tarik ke depan lah all the classes. Tarik ke depan sedikit lah. Okay, so you just let me know lah. Untuk 29 tu memang uh, memang tak ada kelas. Yes. Tapi we will try okay. lah. Okay, yes. Okay? Okay, that's it. Yeah. Alright, okay. Yeah. Hmm. So, Ibu, are you... Are you I, I have to problem 29. <laughs> oh, you have a problem. Okay. Yes, I, I, yes, I'm... Yeah, 29 uh, for me is our uh, two problem. Okay. I go to my parents, the uh, the other province. Ah, okay. So... <laughs> Ramai dah balik kampung tu lah. Yes, because yeah. we, kita dalam <laughs> jauh, kan? jauh. Ha, jauh ha. So, mm -hmm. macam saya, I have to pick up my daughter, which mm -hmm. is also in a different province, which is also in a different mm -hmm. state, which takes about three weeks yeah. pergi Melaka. And then, uh, and I'm, we are fasting. 
So mm-hmm. it's not uh, if a normal days we can stop and eat and go and stop and eat and go. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, uh, yeah, yeah, but yeah. when you're Same. fasting, it's it's a bit uh, tiring. You know? <laughs> uh, uh, even yes. if I want to drive at night and difficult, mm. so we have to. Uh, uh, we'll just plan for that last. So twenty nine confirm lah. Okay. Uh, and we will find okay. a date, a new date later on. Okay. 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 Right. okay. So yes, and uh, 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 sh- 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 ah, yes, uh. Okay. How long have you been teaching BS? Uh, I'm started end of 2010. Mm-hmm. So, so this is my 12, 12 years. Uh, what? Okay. Uh, and uh, okay, Cik Sharim and Ibu. Uh, how much of knowledge do you have on statistic? Between zero right. to ten. Um. Okay, uh, Ibu, you go first. Saya tak punya knowledge lah tentang statistik, doctor. Sama sekali. But you have used survey before, macam pernah lakukan. Oh yes, uh, okay. yes. Oh yes, okay. oh yes. Okay. Okay. yes. Of course, of course. Uh, SPSS pernah guna? Yes. Mendengar, but uh, belum pernah coba. Okay, okay. That's good. Mm. Okay. Uh, how about you, uh, Sharif? Uh, same for me. For me, a uh, statistic uh, rank one to ten. Uh, I think for me, it's about two, <laughs> to something, three, two to three lah. I think yeah. because my, my my research area, my research, uh, my research uh, previously, uh, more to uh, qualitative uh, based wow. on the interview. Uh, yeah. Interview. Okay. Okay. So, right. okay. Okay. Macam because uh, why am I talking? Why am I asking this? Is because. Um, when we study about statistics in this course, we are going to understand about, uh, for example, kalau I give you a survey, okay, I give you a survey, I ask you, uh, do you like teaching in this subject? Do you like attending this course? So you give me, and I put a scale lah, daripada kosong hingga sepuluh. So you give me, Cik Sharim give me five, uh, Ibu give me four, okay? So I will collect about 100 data, I will process it and I'll find out how many people, kalau the basic statistic yang kita tahu is jumlah lah. Okay, berapa jumlah uh, student yang suka, berapa jumlah student yang tak suka. But we are find we are in in this uh, course ni, we are trying to understand what is the relationship kat sini lah. What is the relationship kat sini. Itu yang kita perlu faham. Okay, for the first class for today, I will go into basic of, uh, can you see the slides? Yes, no problem. Alright, so these are the same slides yang saya bagilah ya, dalam uh, WhatsApp tadi and it's also in your future lah, okay. So on the first class today, we are not going to any statistic uh, as per se just yet. Kita cuma nak fahamkan beberapa uh, teori, beberapa, so not teori, beberapa uh, definition of research. Uh, how do we do research? What is the difference between this and that semua lah. Okay, uh, if you have any questions along the way, please uh, feel free to stop me. Or if you have any idea you nak tambah, go ahead, tak ada masalah juga. Okay, before that, I want to give you this slide and I want you to take a picture and answer this slide yourself. Uh, when Okay, take a picture of this. So this picture is telling you about the research process. Okay, so we have data analysis, we have data analysis, hypothesis, formulation, theory, observation, deductive, uh, uh, further data gathering, initial data gathering. Okay, it is more the flow. Okay, so Ibu ambil satu gambar ini, simpan. Okay, and then kita akan cuba, awak akan cuba jawab, put down the numbers for this at the end of this lecture. Okay. okay. All right. So your answer, Ibu, will be different from, can be different from Cik Sharif. Tak ada masalah. It's depending yeah. on how you want to do it. Okay. Depending on how you want to answer your question. It can be the same. It can, it, it can also be not the same. Okay. Yeah. Sebab mungkin, uh, Ibu rasa mungkin she wants to do 
theory formulation first or this and that. Okay. All right. So the simple part in the lower. Eh? Okay. Now we go back to the first slide. So this, uh, what we are aiming to do is we are aiming to get yourself familiarized with the method, approach, process. Itu je. We just want to give you a basic understanding of it. Okay? And then along the way, you akan tanya diri you sendiri. You akan tengok perkataan research method, research approach, research process. Okay? So you will come across these words and some of these words will be very confusing for you. Not to worry. We will take it one by one. Okay? So, provide an understanding of how to select research methods. How, what method are you, is best possible for you. My method may be different from Ibu. Your method, Ibu, will be different from each other because of your kind of study. Depending on what kind of study you are looking at first. Yes. And uh, before that, I always would like to tell you, don't be afraid of using your method. Because along the way, akan ada kawan-kawan or akan ada somebody yang akan cakap, eh, why are you doing this method? Kenapa you buat macam ni? Kenapa you tak buat macam tu? Jangan risau. Tumbuk je mereka. You are doing right. You are doing right. Because depending on your, your method, eh, depending on your kind of research, Ibu cannot tell Charim, okay, this is the way. No. Because it's her. Dia punya research, dia punya cara lah. Okay. Cik Syarim punya is this way. Sorry, Dr. Riz. Tak, tak dengar. Oh, sorry. Ha. Oh. Signal. T -t testing, testing. Boleh, boleh? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, right. okay. Okay. Alright. So, uh, if if I go, uh, if saya hilang halfway uh, and I don't respond to you, you can just uh, uh, WhatsApp me as well. Huh? I'll keep the phone. Okay. Boleh dengar Ibu? Can you hear me? Yeah, yes. Clear. Okay. So. So once you have completed this subject, you are able to, you, you can, you will be able to critically think. Okay. Critically think means even if you know, you don't know the answer, you boleh tahu jawapan dia. You akan cari jawapan dia. That is for me, more my definition of critically think. Uh, memang, kita tak tahu jawapan dia sometimes, but we know how to find it and where to find it. That's the most important thing. Okay, uh, research proposal. Okay, so these are my reference untuk subjek ini. These are my reference lah. Okay, these are my reference. And these are some old books that I like to use. Uh, mungkin macam uh, New Man Me dah masuk I think dah uh, 201618 dah Okay, these are all old books Okay So now we come back to the definition first Kita semua start dengan definition What is research? So by definition Ikut definition Is the systematic process of answering questions To acquire new knowledge And Questions of how professional practice is conducted and contributes to the development of better practices. So, on the right hand side, this one here is the question, is the research question here. And this is how you are going to do it. It's the systematic process of answering a question to acquire new knowledge. So, in research, you need, you need a systematic approach. You cannot just come up with the answer. You cannot just test, okay, kita test macam ni lah. Alright? Or you sit under a tree and you clap your hands and you come up with the answer. Tak boleh macam tu. It yeah. needs to follow certain steps. So that is the most important thing. So to answer this question on the right hand side here, questions how professional practice is conducted and contribute to the development of a better practice. So there are certain steps you want to uh, conduct first. Okay, you have to do this step. Step number one. What do you have to do? Set number two, what do you have to do? So that is a research, as per se. So, research must be controlled, must be rigorous, systematic, valid, empirical, critical. 
What do you mean by control? That means you have to control your sample. You cannot say that, let's say I'm staying in one area. Katakan saya duduk di satu taman. Di satu, uh, di satu province lah. Senang cerita, satu province. Your research in that province cannot be uh, cannot be generalized to another province. So your research is based on that province, maka itu sajalah. That's it. And okay. dalam province itu, uh, dalam province itu, let's say you want to take only students age 18 and above. So you control that. And you have to control those subjects. You cannot say, okay, students as per se. Kalau kita kata students, pelajar apa? Pelajar sekolah uh, 18, 17, 16, 12, 10. Mm -hmm. Itu pun uh, students juga. So you have to control them. You have to tell, okay, my research is in this province for students between 10 and 15. Okay. And it has to be very systematic. Mula-mula, you buat ni. Second, you buat ni. Next, you also need to validate that. Must be validated and verifiable. Yeah. Betul. Your data must be right. That means it's validated. Okay, it's validated and it has to be uh, it has to be right. Next, it has to be empirical. Empirical meaning data itu data baru. Okay, it has to be, it cannot, for research, it has to be new data. Empirical. This is what you collect. Yes, betul. You can also get data from secondary, boleh, from books, from, uh, from buku, uh, company report, but this data is you obtain them empirically, you obtain them first hand, or gata lah, first hand. And the data needs to be, and your research must be critical. Going back to control, let's say you got a students, okay? So you have to be very critical, students macam mana? Okay, then you say, uh, students between the age of 15 to 18. Be very critical. Uh, in government schools, be very uh, very critical. Uh, their parents' income is so and so. Ah, tento. It has to be narrowed down to the smallest if possible. Because your research needs to tell. Because another person is going to read and then justify and and, and understand that oh this research is about students between this and this population and staying here. Okay, it may be generalizable into another province, another state, tetapi this researcher did it here. Okay, fine. Boleh faham. Okay, people can understand. So they might, they might replicate that. So there, is a, there was a question last semester, a student tanya saya, what if I replicate this study? Okay, so there you take the study, you replicate it in a different province. You replicate it in a different state. Okay, maksudnya you ambil satu study yang dia dah dibuat di Malaysia, you replicate it in Malaysia or you replicate it in uh, uh, in Thailand or Singapore. Can you do that? Yes or no? So, my answer is initially yes, I said no. Yes, I said no. Ah, satu pelik sikit ni. I said no. Macam mana you nak buat satu research? You ambil sebiji-sebiji tu, you, you replicate no. Tak boleh. Then over time, uh, bila saya baca banyak-banyak journal, people say it's possible. Sebab, there might be certain conditions di Singapore yang tidak ada di Thailand. There might be certain conditions yang ada di Indonesia yang tak ada kat Malaysia. So, you are highlighting on that. Betul, this study was, it's just a replication saja. Tetapi, we are looking for more than that. Mungkin ada condition yang ada situasi, uh, situation yang tak ada kat Indonesia but ada in Malaysia. So, the, the, the graph tu mungkin berubah. Okay, the graph tu mungkin berubah. Or mungkin there is some uh, situation which was in Singapore, which not was in Malaysia. So, certain things. So, it's possible to replicate because we want to find out more new things about it. So, research is not based on authority, tradition, common sense, media, personal experience. Well, personal experience ni, yes, it helps. Macam ibu, you have been in architecture line for 10 years and above. So you know this, you know how it works, you know how the uh, architecture development is. So based on your experience, you know. But that can help. Itu boleh membantu. 
but your research should not be based on your ex your personal experience. Okay, uh, personal experience helps. Uh, Charin has been in in, in uh, uh, teaching line for ten years and above, so he knows how students are. He knows it. That's his experience. But there are others close down. But he cannot use that as his own uh, research and say macam dia buat bila dia buat ayat tu dia kata based on my experience. It doesn't help. Tak boleh. Yeah. But he can use uh, apa namanya? He can use the experience uh, for starting the research. Okay. He can use that. Authority. It cannot come. That means it cannot be. You cannot do a research based on authority. Okay. Semua orang kena jawab soalan saya. Siapa tak jawab, potong 10 marka. You cannot do that. You cannot come from authority. Okay? okay. And that is not a research. That is just a survey. Contohnya, our management, dia nak buat happiness index. Dia nak tahu uh, kita suka, tak suka. So, they just give us a survey. Okay, tolong isi survey ni. Kita pun isi. Alright. And then they, they will compute. And then they find out, okay, uh, 50% suka, 70% tak suka. Itu saja. That's not a research. Itu satu finding saja. Okay? Itu that's a finding. Let's say you want to find out um, how was uh, online classes among students in this province. Itu saja. So you just give a survey. Pop, 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 bagi survey. You get the response. You bought uh, some uh, analysis. Then, Was that a research? No. It was just a finding saja. A research is more than that. You, found, you want to find the cause, you want to find out what actually happened, why are these people like this way, or let's say you want to find out, uh, maybe you can agree with me, bila online ni for the last two years, student ni result ni tinggi. Betul tak, Ibu? Tiba-tiba student-student yang, uh, or maybe uh, non-architecture background lah, macam student saya, tiba-tiba tinggi. Jumlah A tu sangat banyak. Jumlah B tu, jumlah A plus pun equally. So, adakah mereka copy each other? Ataupun they look at online notes? So, there's something going on there. We don't know yet. Okay? Alright. Now, we go into theory. You have any questions? Please stop me. Eh? Oh, sorry. Theory. Okay. A theory is a well-defined concept and their interrelationship. Okay? Theory, by definition, ialah a well-defined concept and their interrelationship. Right? Concepts and idea expression as a symbol, scope. Okay? So, a theory gives you the concept, it gives you the relationship, and between this, you can come up with propositions and hypotheses. Uh, so, what is a theory? Okay? So, a theory is the groundwork. Okay? The groundwork. Hypothesis is, okay, let me give you an example, okay. Uh, the example is the theory of buying, beli, yeah? buying things online, okay, buying things online. So, people will buy things online if and only if, if and only if, jika dan hanya jika, there is trust available, ada kepercayaan. Kenapa ibu beli daripada, uh, ibu di Indonesia ada Shopee kan? Ada Lazada kan? Ada doktor. Okay. Ada, ada. Uh, ada. 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 Uh, ada. How many times do you buy uh, from Shopee or Lazada or online? Every day. <laughs> okay. No, no. No. No, no. no. no need to answer that question. Kita assume X. X number of times. Okay. So why, why do you buy? Sebab you trust that side. I mean, uh, mean selain pada you nak beli. But... Pada mulanya, in the beginning, I am sure you feel uncomfortable. You feel uncomfortable sebab you are buying something online and you do not know your money pergi macam mana and you are not sure of the value size or the item, whether the items come that broken. But over time, theory mengatakan bahawa over time, you build trust. Trust is already built up. So, you believe, 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 you trust. Now, anything online pun, walaupun bukan yang di Shopee, another seller pun you buy. Sebab, you have already developed trust and you feel that uh, buying online is okay. Alright. 
So that is a theory. So what yeah. is hypothesis? Hypothesis is like you add additional, you study more than that. You want to study, for example, what is the relationship between uh, students buying online and trust? Uh, Cento. So you you think of really. So the 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 theory mengatakan bahawa trust and buying online there is a relationship. Okay, but your hypothesis ialah mungkin you want to study the elderly people buying online. How is their trust pula? You you take that theory and you apply it somewhere else. Theory kata higher trust, higher buying. Itu so, theory kata. Okay. But, but you so, so means that, Doctor, we, we, yeah. just create, uh, we just create a subject, a subject from, from the theory. Yeah, you yeah. so just create a subject from the theory and you relate back to the theory. You kata bahawa macam, okay, theory kata uh, trust leads to uh, more buying, okay? So, theory kata the higher you trust, the more, apa namanya, uh, more buying power lah, more buying lah. Mm-hmm. Tetapi, Sharin buat satu research and dia kata, No, that is not possible. Kalau you apply it to old people, not not possible. Kalau you apply it to uh, middle aged people, it's possible. Betul. So now he has he has taken the theory, he has put a hypothesis inside, and he says there is a positive. Uh, so dalam hypothesis, we say there is a positive relationship between middle age and buying online. There is no positive, there is a negative relationship between uh, old people and buying online. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, kita, we, and then another research, another researcher comes out and say, no, maybe uh, this theory is not applicable for people in the rural area. People in the city, memang lah, dia ada internet yang bagus, they have the facility, okay, but people in the rural This is not possible because they have never bought things online. Okay, or maybe first-time buyers. Okay, there are also first-time buyers. You have to you have to uh, agree. There are also first-time buyers. They are living in the city. Memang they are living in the city, but 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 maybe they don't have means. They don't have the what do you say? They they, they don't have, they have no opportunity to buy online. So when they buy online for the first time, they they have Trust issues lah. Okay. Alright. So let's move on. So in research and theory, there are three types of association. One is correlation. One is temporal. One is causal. Okay. Three. So let's go to the next slide. Let's explain to you more. Okay. If we say is association, we say are the correlation. Example, there is a relationship between family's income and public examination performance of students. A question. Okay. So, when you say null hypothesis, so there, there is no relationship. Okay. So, in this question here, we want to find out, is there a relationship? Persoalannya, is there a relationship? So, based on our reading, kita baca, 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 journal, we find that there is a relationship between income and performance. Mm-hmm. So, this question is actually a hypothesis. Based on our reading, we find that there is a relationship between income and student performance. Tetapi, bila kita buat research, kita dah ambil data sample, kita dah masuk SPSS, kita dah kaji semua. Eh, eh, salah. There is no relationship. So, does that make this research void, null? Tak boleh pakai? No. Research ini masih boleh pakai. Because you have proven that there is no relationship. Yes, pada awalnya, you kata there is a relationship. Betul. Because based on your research, based on your understanding, based on your reading, tetapi bila you buat actual study, you find out tak ada apa-apa. So, now that's something new. So, you have found out there is no correlation between performance, uh, sorry, income and performance. Okay. Yang kedua, before we masuk temporary, 
if you see this hypothesis, nampak dua perkataan di sini, iaitu income and performance. Okay. These two words are measurable, boleh diukur. Income, money, performance, yes. A, B, C, 90, 80, 60, 70. So when you write a hypothesis, make sure you write it as if you are writing something yang boleh diukur. Student performance, family income, weight. Okay, weight. Uh, berat badan. Uh, apa lagi? Uh, exercise time. Okay. Bagi, uh, let's go to another example. Let's say kita ada three, uh, three ways of losing weight. Our target is to lose weight. Okay, lose weight. Okay, so kita ada tiga cara. Uh, fasting, uh, exercising, and eating less. Okay, and based on our understanding, based on our reading, we find that that exercising causes, I uh, mean, uh, generates the higher weight loss. So we say the more you exercise, the more you uh, what, you lost weight. Yes. Yeah. Alright. So you study, you buat satu sample. Ah, betul. Betul. And then you get the, and then you start lagi. You you test lagi. Dalam dalam software ni, kita boleh test. Oh, rupanya exercise and fasting loses lagi banyak weight. Dah lah, you exercise, you puasa lagi banyak weight. Okay, then you buat lagi research. Oh, rupanya exercise, exercise, uh, eating less, and apa tadi, fasting, lagi banyak. Okay, so these are all hypotheses. So we know this as correlation. We want to find out apakah persamaan, apakah, how is these two related? So dalam example ini, what is the relationship between income and performance? Apa kaitan dia? Apa kaitan dia? Okay, what you, why, why, why is it so important? So we want to find out. Okay. Another type of research, another type of relationship is temporal over a period of time. Over a period of time. Okay, so you test pada awal semester, you buat satu, you tanya student, uh, okay, do you understand this? Yes, no. Kebanyakan akan cakap no. And then you test it at the end of the semester. Okay, example, uh, macam ibu bila you start class. <coughs> Budak-budak <coughs> semester satu, for example. Do you a question? Do you know anything about architecture? Uh, question number two. Do you have any architecture background? Okay. And then selepas, let's say, one year later, you ask back the same question. And rupanya jawapan, jawapan diorang sudah berubah. Okay, the jawapan diorang sudah berubah. Oh, so that can show that they have learned something in between. Or maybe you ask them a question about the subject. Uh, in a scale of 0 to 1, in a scale of 0 to 10, what is your number in this? Oh, so they write 5. So selepas habis semester, you test back, oh, they have increased. So you can show the increase, increase lah. Okay? So that is temporal. Temporal needs time. Kalau you buat research pasal temporal, then you need time lah. So you need to study the one before and the one after. Okay, let's say you are doing a research based on certain projects. Okay, so sometimes what people do is to start temporal to sikit lah. Sebab you have to be at the beginning of the project and at the end of the project. So another way of doing it is you ask users, uh, participants, to think balik. Can you think during the project, uh, soalan dia will, uh, will sound like during the first three months of the project. Semasa tiga bulan project itu berlangsung, uh, apakah uh, perception you tentang boss you so they will try to remember back okay Ca causal is another one causal means you are doing experiment uh, experiment lah so you want to see what is the cause of this what is the cause of this and what is the effect of it kebanyakannya buat experiment lah okay we are doing experiment so this experiment bukannya experiment dalam lab it's not in the lab. Yes, it can go in the lab, but we want to see a uh, type of experiment. Contohnya macam, you ambil dua kelas, dua kelas, 
kelas A, kelas B. Kelas okay. A, you bagi uh, lecture di bilik kuliah. Okay, bilik kuliah. Kelas B, lecture online. Now you see which one does better. Simple. Okay. You bagi soalan sama, soalan quiz sama, assignment sama, everything the same. And student pun kena lah. Uh, people say what you said. At par lah maksudnya student A and B ni student-student yang berumur sama. Uh, mungkin dia punya apa tu, level itu pun sama. Okay, level itu pun sama. Okay. But you give them, okay. Uh, student A, group A, you give them class face-to-face. -face. Student B, group B, you give them online. You give them the same assignment, you give them the same quiz, same test, and then you check. What is the difference? So, the parents ini, we know the cause of technology and the effect. So, okay. yang group pertama tadi, tak ada technology. They learn face-to-face. -face. Group kedua, ada technology. Ada pakai online. And you see the effect. So, that is what it means by causal effect. You want to see what is the cause and what is the effect. So, daripada sini, we can find out what is the variable involved. Lah. Variable itu bermaksud what uh, variables are questions. Lah. What are the questions involved? Okay. We'll come to that later as we go along. Are we okay then? Semua okay ke? So far okay, Doctor. Yes, okay. Okay, Doctor. Saya selalu, Ibu, saya akan tanya soalan saya. Tengah-tengah saya mengajar, saya akan berhenti. Okay, hari yeah. ini kita nak makan apa? Bila saya tanya nak makan apa saja, mereka akan cakap macam-macam. Dia buat kami, oh hari ni saya nak makan ini, nak makan itu. Okay, five minutes of that and then continue boleh. Bila continue, just mesti. <laughs> It's the same. <laughs> Bukan diam, Doktor. Fokus balik. Fokus, Fokus balik. balik. <laughs> uh, what, 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 what time is it over there? Uh, pukul 4.40. Satu jam ke belakang. Okay. Yes, satu uh, jam ke uh, belakang. Ibu di Jakarta ke? Di mana ke? Di Padang, Doktor. Padang. 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 Di Sumatera. Dan... Sumatera. Oh, Sumatera. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay, okay, yes. Okay. yes. Oh. So buka puasa buka okey lah nak tanya pasal buka puasa. Buka puasa buka berapa? Di sini pukul 6.25. 6.25. So lagi 2 jam okey okey. Ya. Okey. We will do the we kita, kita akan cepatkan sikit. Okey. <laughs> Dimensions. Oh ini pun you are looking to explain adakah you buat research ni untuk explain? Untuk describe? Untuk explore. But let's go to point number dua dulu. Ada two types of research. Applied and basic research. Yang tuan-tuan dan perempuan akan buat ialah basic research. You're investigating. You akan menilai benda tu. Applied mm -hmm. research is designed to answer specific questions aimed at solving a problem. Applied berbeza sedikit. Contohnya, kenapa student lagi bagus pakai... Uh, Kenapa uh, student is better using technology? The question, the, the, the title of the research is already a question. So that is where you do applied research. Okay, applied research is you want to answer a specific question. Contohnya, another question yang uh, for applied research is, let's say uh, there was a case in Malaysia where uh, electric company, our government electric company, they implement mobile apps. Mobile app, eh? Untuk, uh, untuk pembayaran uh, bill dan seterusnya lah. Okay. But this mobile app did not, uh, the usage of this mobile app was not good. So they came up with, uh, uh, they wanted to find out why. So their question was, why, uh, why did this mobile app did not do well? Something like that lah. Okay. So they came up, there was no research involved. It was just, yes, uh, well, you say uh, there was some systematic, tapi they wanted to answer the question. At the end of the day, they wanted to know kenapa mobile app ni tidak, berfa uh, tidak berkesan. Okay. But uh, in applied research, you are answering specific questions aimed at solving the problem. You want to solve a problem. Okay. 
Uh, so you want to do time uh, time dimensional or cross sectional longitude? Cross sectional is pada masa itu. That means you want to study. Let's say you want to see the performance of a student. Cross sectional pada tahun yang ketiga, pada tahun yang kedua. That is cross sectional. Longitudinal, yes, lah. Dah, dah, dah nama pun longitudinal. So you want to see the study, the, the performance of the students over time, long lah, long. Okay. So longitudinal study might take long, might take a long period of time. It could be one year. It could also be one month. It could be one semester, depending. Okay. Mm -hmm. How you collect your data? Yes, lah. Quantitative, qualitative, itu biasa. But another, come back to point number one. What is the purpose of your your research? Do you want to explore? Do you want to describe? Do you want to explain? So this is also things that you need to think about. Okay. Kebanyakan research for PhD, Masters, is to explore. You want to explore something. But janganlah explore and keep on exploring. Because you have to put a stop to what you want to explore. Yes, kita nak solve masalah dunia, betul. Hajat ibu, hajat saya, memang kita nak menyelesaikan masalah dunia, betul. Tetapi tidak boleh. We need to stop somewhere. We need to say, okay, we want to find out the the usefulness of technology in students, in, in, in secondary students between the age of 10 to 18. We want to, okay, ini je kita nak explore. We are not looking at students in university level. We are not looking at students in primary school. We are not looking anywhere else. We are looking here only. Di sini sahaja kita tengok. Okay, we want to explore that. So you cannot keep on exploring, 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 but there is no stop. It must, there must be a stop. You must confine your research to a certain area ke, a certain uh, scale ke. You must do that. Or else the research will get too big and you have no time. Let's say you want to find out uh, building surveys, building surveyors. Okay, building surveyors. Okay, building mm -hmm. surveyors are mine. So you say building surveyors uh, who has uh, technical experience between uh, one, sorry, between uh, uh, with a minimum technical experience of five years and uh, above. Okay, so we are, we are looking at that. Okay. Or you want to find out uh, uh, QS uh, who has worked in multinational companies, who has worked in uh, companies, in uh, grade A companies, grade B companies, things like mm. that. Okay? So you have to be very, very, very specific. Okay, very specific. Only then you can apply what you, uh, you, you want to research on. Okay. okay. Theory approach. Ini satu lagi. So are we doing deductive? Or inductive, okay. So deductive, yalah, you use yang tadi saya kata lah, trust tadi tu. That's deductive. Deductive is you have the theory, you want to find out the relationship, and you go and look for empirical data. Okay, deductive. Deductive is much easier to do rather than inductive. Inductive is there is no theory, tak ada theory. Tiada ada theory yang mengatakan bahawa this thing happens. Contohnya, ibu please don't get mad kalau kita tanya wanita awak nak makan apa malam ni? Dia akan cakap ikut suka hati. Tiada ada teori in the world that can justify what is suka hati. Ataupun <laughs> tak ada teori. Right? <laughs> kalau kita tanya lelaki yes. okay, awak nak makan apa? Oh malam ni saya nak makan that's it. Saya nak makan nasi. Saya nak makan mie. Saya nak makan ni. That's it. This, uh, we already set our mind. Okay. So if you want to do inductive, you have to start from somewhere. That means mm. you compile data, daripada data yes. itu, you formulate a problem, or you formulate uh, the concept, and then you come up with your theory. But most of you will do deductive. Deductive. Mm -hmm. So but deductive yes. is much more easier. Lah. Okay. It's much more straightforward because you have the uh, theory. So Bob, in your last chapter, yang ni chapter 5 or chapter 6, you are going to write a section di mana you are going to tell how is your research contributing to the theory. How is your research 
contributing to the theory. So uh, that is something interesting because it could be you daripada building survey tapi teori ini biasa digunakan di marketing. So you have contributed to this theory by uh, studying it in uh, in apa namanya <coughs> in uh, building survey. You dah buat macam tu tak? Okay. So that is your contribution. This contribution is very important because there are two sections you need to write. One is contribution to the theory and contribution to the body of knowledge. How how is uh, how has your research contributed to knowledge? So, mm -hmm. Or how has your <coughs> sorry how has your research contributed to the practice? Di luar sana tu, di alam pekerjaan. How is your research contributed? Okay, so that that's also important. Okay, so deductive is reasoning is a specific conclusion follows a general theory. theory. Okay, you're doing conclusion, a specific conclusion. Okay. Arrival at the crime scene. Oh, this is an example. Lah. Okay, hypothesis, observation, confirmation. Okay. So deductive is you have things in your mind. You dah ada benda tu. Okay, so in this example, it's showing a police scenario lah. So bila polis itu sampai kepada scenario tu, dia sampai je, dia tengok because based on his experience, dia tengok, okay, he has something in his mind. Apa yang nak berlaku? Okay, mungkin accident, dia, dia dapat dua kereta pelanggar and then ada orang cedera, so he knows. Okay, uh, it could be ada orang, main, uh, 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 ada orang drink and drive ke apalah. So he knows it. So but he has to use his hypothesis. So based on that, he comes up with hypothesis. Mungkin ini, mungkin ini, mungkin ini. Based on his experience. Dia tengok keadaan kereta macam ni. Dia tengok keadaan pemandu macam ni. Ah, ini mesti something. Ah, he knows. And then dia buat observation. Dia tengok, okay. Dia tengok observation. Dia tengok keadaan uh, mayat tu ke, keadaan body tu ke, keadaan kereta. Based on the angle, based on the tire. Ah, betul lah apa yang dia kata. Lastly, they confirm. So that is how theory is. Okay. But if you go the other way around, you have nothing. If you if the police officer come to a new scene, he tak pernah jumpa scene ini before. So he will look at the evidence. What is this evidence showing? Based on the evidence, he will try to assume. Oh, mungkin ini pencuri. Mungkin ini accident. So then he will go and collect the data. Okay, go and collect the data. And then he comes to the theory. Okay, the theory is like this. Mungkin ada penjenayah and so on and so forth. Uh, doctor, um, for inductive, uh -huh. uh, perlu ada hypothesis juga ke? Ke memang, memang for me, uh, based on my, apa, uh, previous lecture, last uh, semester, yep, yep. Uh, for deductive, okay, hypothesis is just for the quantity, quantitative, but uh, inductive quality, no need. No need hypothesis. Hypothesis, yes. Uh, inductive ni bila kita nak test, uh, we want to find out why do we need, okay, betul, like what you say, betul, uh, inductive, we don't need hypothesis. But you put the hypothesis there to test, to what you say, to confine. Okay, to confine the, the, the theory tu. Sebab teori ni mungkin teori marketing, mungkin teori science, we don't know yet. So, kita letak hypothesis kat situ so that theory ini is related to hypothesis. Theory ini related to marketing. So, we need to do that. Okay? So, do we have to test this hypothesis? No, we don't have to test this hypothesis. Okay. Uh, because we, we, you can come, uh, let's go back to the crime scene theory. Okay? So, we, he comes, he sees a body here. He sees his body. He doesn't know this is the first time police officer to nampak body macam ni. He cannot come up with anything. He cannot come up with any idea. Dia tak believe what? He just sees a body. Okay. So what he does next is based on empirical data. Apa yang dia nampak? Dia nampak keadaan mayat tu macam mana? Okay. He takes that. He takes that. And then he does an analysis on that. Then he comes up with a theory. And then he also knows. Oh, okay. Hypo then the hypothesis appears. It could be this way, it could be penjanaya to masuk daripada sini. So it could be this way. Tapi he, he doesn't test it lah. He just comes up with hypothesis. He doesn't need to test it. Anything. 
Okay, paradigm. Research is based on assumption. Okay, because research is always based on assumption about the fundamental nature of society, or social reality, and how we learn about social reality. Why does it say assumption? So, research is based on assumption. You assume that the cat likes you. You assume that the website that you're buying from is is genuine. You assume that uh, losing weight, sorry, you assume that exercising more loses weight. You assume that, yeah. You assume. Kita meng, uh, we assume that, yeah. We assume that uh, by fasting, we will lose weight more. We assume that saja. Tapi tak pernah berlaku kan? No. Every time kita puasa, kita mengharapkan kita uh, kurang berat badan, but <laughs> berat badan kita naik juga. <laughs> kita assume saja. We assume this happen, this thing is going to happen. Tapi it never happen. So research is based on assumption. Okay. So paradigm. So there are three paradigms that you can write. Are you a positivist? Are you an interpretivist? Or are you a critical person? Okay. A positive person tries to explain and predict what happens based on the causal relationship. Interpretive person, he is based on numbers. You think what number tu? Are there 50%? So he says 50% of the students are like this. Positive, yes, the ambit number too, but he tries to explain. He is trying to explain why. He, he will find out why is it like this. And he he's not he's very positive. That means they can carry uh 50 per yeah, they, they can think okay, 50% of the students are doing well. Maybe because of what? Okay, he's very positive. Interpretive, yes, is based on number. They tak pusing pusing dah. Dia kata 50% of the students are like this, maka itu sajalah. His interpretation is different. If he does the study in a different province, he finds 70%, maka dia kata 70% of the students. Okay? Critical is you go beyond this. Beyond this. 50% of the students are like this. Why? Kenapa students are like this? Why? Is it because of their living condition? Is it because of their parents? Is it because they are memang tak nak belajar? Or is it because they have this uh, uh, learning disability? It goes very critical. Okay? So you have to choose where is your stand? Where is your stand in this? This is normally very uh, positive, interpretive or critical. Uh, you don't have to choose as per se. So you tak payah pilih. Ini datangnya daripada, kalau saya, datangnya daripada diri sendiri. Okay, you want to write, what do you want to write? You want to write a positive, maka you explain sajalah, you just explain on the ground. 50% of the research says that uh, student performance is based on income, blah, blah, blah. Itu saja. But you don't go into detail. Income itu B40, income itu this, this, this. Income itu, uh, uh, apa tu? Uh, student student ini, parents diorang pekerja siang malam, dah, 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 dah. Oh, susah lah macam tu. Okay, it's all simple. All right, that is uh, critical and sorry, positive. Okay, any questions so far? All right. Uh, no, no question for me. Okay, Ibu, are you okay, Ibu? Tak, tak dengar, tak dengar, Ibu Desi. Can you hear me, Ibu? Boleh dengar? Tak apa. Mic, mic tak on lah. Macam tak on lah, Ibu Desi. Yang mic. Okay. Ha. Tak on dah. Right. Okay. No question. Okay, good. Okay. Okay, we will... Uh, okay. We will just do... It's okay, slide. doctor. Okay. We will okay, do this. Okay. All right. We will do this slide and we will break for about 10 Yeah, hello? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Yes, I can hear you. <clears throat> okay. 
All right. So research process. That's okay. Okay. Yes, clear, doctor. Clear. On. Okay. Research Dia macam lambat. Okay. First, uh, kita tengok yang bawah ni. Eh. This one, the top, the top one here. Okay. Focus on question. Design the study. Collect data. Analyze. Interpret. Inform others. Inform others tu, uh, you write your thesis lah. Mm -hmm. This is one. Yang kedua, the blue one here. Uh, goes to the right. Eh. Uh, topic. Literature review. Study design. Management. Data collection. Data analysis. Interpret. Habis. Or another one. Define topic. Narrow down the topic. Gather background information. Create question. Develop thesis. Working thesis. Find. What is it? Find. Evaluate sources. Cite. And write a paper. Okay. This is which. Yang ini, this one over here is more to general writings lah. General writings. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tapi these, these two are quite common kat sini. These two. Okay. So I've taken this from this book and this one I've taken from another book. I can't remember what book. Both are doing the same title which is research process. Tetapi dua-dua ni yang berbeza. If you ask me which is right, which is wrong, susah nak cakap. Very difficult to say. But by... By theory or by practice, I would choose this. Practice. Okay, by practice, I would choose this. Because I am, uh, my school of thought daripada sini lah. Tapi yang ini pun betul juga, boleh juga. You focus on your question, design your study, collect your data, and then it's, uh, because macam literature review is already here lah. Dia campurkan dalam ni lah. Okay. So whether we, we, we <coughs> sorry. Whether you choose the white one here or the blue one here, it's up to you. It's okay. No problem. Okay. This is not a specific hard rule yang kata macam, okay, lepas ni buat apa ni? Lepas ni buat apa? Tak ada. What you need to make sure is before you reach your data collection, you have to be well versed in your topic at least. Your literature is up to date. Okay. Your literature is up to date. Your topic is up to date. That is what you have to worry about. Okay. Once you have got these three right, these three elements right, inshallah you will be you will be fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. That is the most important thing. Because if you keep going on and you're thinking, eh, ini tak betul lah, ini tak, um, you will have the doubt in you. Yes, betul. I'm not saying don't have the doubt. Yes, have the doubt in you. But don't, don't keep having the doubt. You need to justify, you need to tell yourself, okay, this is it. I nak stop kat sini, I want to start my uh, literature review. I want to start my my data collection. I want to go for my uh, defense proposal. Again. That is the most important. Okay? Alright. Uh, maybe we can stop here for 5 minutes, 5-10 minutes. Boleh? Yeah, boleh. Okay, let's stop dulu. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, we will stop here untuk uh, uh, 10 minutes, well, sorry, 9 minutes. Kita akan mula balik pada 6.10. Okay, okay, doctor. Okay. So, untuk ibu, is at 5.10. Boleh, boleh. Boleh, doctor. So, so before the break, we left out at research process. Okay, research process. Okay, so this is where we left out. So now we continue back with uh, problem. Okay, all right. <clears throat> So, problem, research problem, a statement about an area of concern, a condition to be improved, a difficulty to be implemented, or a troubling question that exists in scholarly literature, in theory, in practice, 
that points to the need for meaningful understanding and deliberate investigation. That is our first problem. Okay? It is just not a problem about whether students do well, yes or no. No. We are not worried about that. That's not a, a big deal. Oh, students do well, yes, no. Okay. But what we are need, what we need to, how do we say that there, yes, there is a research problem is there is a need for you to understand that because for something else. Because you will, by you answering this problem, it will help another person develop something else. So that is what we want to do. If you go back to the example that you know, income and performance, so there is a need maybe in the education system uh, to be changed or something like that because they find out that uh, students' income is related to performance. Why? Because if your parents' income are high, you are able to send your child to tuition and extra classes. So obviously, your kid performance will go up as compared to if your parents' income is low. Okay, You have no opportunity to go to tuition, extra class. You only rely on textbook and the teachers in school. So maybe your performance is going to be low as compared to kids there. Or maybe, so there is a need to address this question. There is a need to say, hey, something is wrong. So we need to do something to those kids who are unprivileged. So that is the problem here. Okay. So this is a certain examples I've got over the internet. So these are some research area or research topic that uh, I found on the internet. Lah. Okay, so this one, some of it I asked my, sorry, some of it I've asked my friends. Uh, uh, okay, uh, let's see how here. Okay. Uh, there is, sorry. Architecture. Uh, rehabilitation of ancient structure, building survey of private residential property, building survey and the impact of globalization, uh, dress and subculture identification, fashion and music, clothes in, uh, in the uh, Elizabeth uh, era, understanding cyc cycles of fashion. So these are some topics or area uh, that I've got up from the internet. Okay, these are the examples. Lah. Okay, next we move on to literature review. What is literature review? Literature review is something that everyone needs to do. All researchers, all PhD students needs to do. It's not something very nice to do, but you have to do it. I'm sure along the way, you'll be thinking, Kenapa aku buat ini? I was, I was just enjoying my life, but no, I have to start this PhD. Ya Allah, kenapa lah aku macam ni? Do not worry, ibu. Do not worry. Fikiran ini akan datang. But kita continue sahaja. Kita continue sahaja. Okay? This, it will happen. It will happen. You will be looking out the window and say, I was already comfortable. Kenapa cari nahas? Do not worry. It will happen and you will you will go through okay uh, research is a process a phd is a process it's not uh, it's it's a slow marathon but you will get there always tell always tell yourself you are fine okay uh, orang lain buat cepat ke lambat ke you are going to do it okay so literature review is something you have to do all the time and you need to know what to read Kalau you are doing methodology, you want to find out more about methodology, then you read literature review about methodology. If you want to know more about the problem, then you find articles about the problem, about the area, title. Okay, you want to know how uh, how the topic is in the working environment, so you read about that. Okay, you read about that. So there are different types of area of research or literature review you want to do. But in uh, in uh, theory, research uh, literature review means essential early step in the research process 
used to find out what is already known about the question before trying to answer it. What is known about this? Okay. For example, saya ambil contoh diri saya lah. I'm in the IT field, information technology. <coughs> so when I want to start my research, I need to first know where are we now? Let's say I want to focus on IT in education. So first I need to ask myself, okay, what do I know? And I have to read what, where are we now? We are in IR 4.0. We are in AR. We are at VR. So I need to read all this. Not to say that there is problem there, but I need to read all this and find something. Maybe there is some connections there. So yeah. I need to read, read, read all this. Yes, I will read about AR. I read about VR. I read about IR 4.0, Web 3.0, Web 5.0. These are the areas I need to read first, because I am looking at IT and in education. So I have to read all this. Get the broad broad views first, kind of thing. Yes, I get agree. the broad view. But then again, janganlah broad sangat. <laughs> Too broad pun nanti you will be left. Eh, where am I heading? Where am I going? You don't have to banyak sangat ni. Okay, you are reading too much. Okay, so you just have to know where, how to read. Okay? Alright. And you have to be uh, in literature review ni, you kena pandai baca lah. Let's say the paper, has, the journal has about five pages. Are you going to read from page one to page five? Susah juga lah. Kalau baca line by line, okay, okay. Highlight, highlight, highlight. At the end of the day, you tengok eh, the whole thing highlighted already. Nah, you don't highlight semua dah. Macam everything is right. Everything is interesting. So uh, my 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 way of uh, reading is I read the abstract. Okay, I read the abstract. So I have an idea in my head. I read the introduction first. I like the introduction. And then I stop there. So the introduction will tell me more. And that's it. Okay. I will jump to the conclusion. Two saja. All right. If the introduction is right and the conclusion is good, then I will start reading the whole paper. Or I will just keep it for the next time. Lah. Okay. And then along the way, okay, uh, it's not shopping, it's not literature review, it's not shopping. Eh? It's not simply shopping or what others have said. That means you cannot just write uh, Ali 2015 said this, Ahmad 2016 said this. Memang lah, everyone said something. But you have to be critical enough. You have to say Ali was supported by Ahmad, was supported by this, or Ali uh, suggested this, Ali highlighted this in his research. He did not study it, he just highlighted saja. What does he mean by highlighted? Highlighted means um, he just point out something, point, he just point out something, there, but he did not study. Maybe he was doing something on education and he found out that there is something, or maybe there's a new point as to ada satu benda baru yang dia jumpa, tapi dia tak study benda tu. He just highlighted saja. Or he highlighted that, in his study, he highlighted that uh, in students in rural uh, rural environment cannot use technology for certain reason. He just highlighted. Okay. So highlighting an issue is also important. Okay. Uh, okay. Two essential elements of all literature review is an outline what others have done in your chosen area and a progressing narrowing to the gap in the research. Ah, the gap of the research. Inilah satu benda yang kadang-kadang sampai fourth year baru. Oh, oh, ini dia rupanya. This is what I am looking at. Jangan risau. If you feel that, it's okay. It's good to feel that way. Along the way of your PhD journey, you will find that you are lonely. Betul. You will find that you, only you will know this. Kadang-kadang supervisor pun rasa macam tak faham. Betul. You will read this. And you will, you will know what you know. You will know how to narrow the gap. Because in research, you have to read everything. Betul lah. Like what you said just now. Broad. Therefore, the broad tool, you need to narrow, 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 narrow down. Narrow down until you get it. <clears throat> okay. But when would you get it? Esok? Esok? 
that is up to you. Susah nak macam nak cakap. Okay, susah nak cakap. Sometimes memang idea kita ni macam terkeluar daripada telinga. Yes, you will think that way. Oh, this is a good idea. Okay, sometimes it will be like, sometimes it will be like, there will be days yang you fikir there's nothing. Betul. Alright, so keep on going. Okay, <clears throat> there are a few methods of structuring your research, uh, li your literature review. One is you may decide that the following means is the most logical way. Uh, you use the approach, difference of approach. While Jones 1982 uh, used, Smith 1990 claims that. Okay, in this one, difference of approach meaning uh, 82 they argue. 1990, he claimed. Or, yeah. you, you can take it in the two different ways. Or, distantly close related. Or, number number two, Smith 91 and Jones 90, uh, 2001 both show that. Two people that said that. However, Hutchison demonstrates that it could be Hutchison kata, eh, bukan. It could be like that as well. Okay? So, the choice of words is very important here. Chronology, that means you start from somewhere. Early marketing theory owes, it, owes the development to. Many studies contributed to. For example, 86, 87 was recognized. But later in 1990 showed that. So you start at the bawah, naik ke atas. <clears throat> okay. Can you only use one or two approach or three approach? You can use all here. How you want to structure your literature review? It depends on you. Kalau you nak pakai ketiga-tiga method ini pun, tidak ada masalah. As long as you can bring the point forward. Okay, bring the point. Okay. <clears throat> Where do we find articles from? Journal articles, computerized database, conference proceeding, dissertation, empirical results, government report, and statistical handbook. Anywhere you can find lah. Okay, these are example of uh, journal yang saya dapat. Okay, uh, yang ini saya tanya kawan-kawan lah. Okay, I'm not familiar with these type of journals, but uh, I asked around my friends yang from uh, building survey and architecture. Uh, they say that these are good journals lah. Uh, journal of facility management, journal of facilities, journal of building survey, journal of building performance studies, uh, Malaysian research construction journal. So these are all journals lah, good journals. So, you must make sure you read from here. Okay. And cara dapatkan bacaan yang broad, always go for the top journal. That means, I'm sure, Ibu, you know apakah journal yang paling top in your area. So, start there. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. You must start there because that is the top lah. That you can, you cannot go wrong in this journal. That means, idea mereka semua yang bagus-bagus. Itu hmm. idea yang bagus juga. And then, in, in building survey, Okay, you start, which is the top journal? You read, you read that. If it's American journal, go get the American journal. If it's a British journal, go get the British journal and keep that on your table. Keep on the on the table. And then, bila you dapat the big picture, because these are the best journals, the Q1 journal, baca yang Q2. Jangan baca yang Q3, Q4 dulu. Q3, Q4, kita simpan for explanation purposes. Untuk dapatkan idea. But to get the point, mm. untuk dapatkan problem, untuk dapatkan gap, you have to start daripada atas. Research objective. <clears throat> Why have organization introduced early retirement? To identify organization's objectives for introducing retirement. What are the consequences of early retirement? Why do you want to answer this question? Because you want to describe, you want to find out, you want to explore the effects of early retirement. Research objectives are the specific action or activities to answer the question. Objective indicate that 
or it could indicate what we are trying to get from the study or expected results from the outcome. This is the, uh, this is the, uh, the objective. Okay. Moving on, research design. How do you intend to carry out the study? Okay, when people ask you what is your design, to think about how do you intend to carry out your study? Am I going to do a survey? Am I going to do an experiment? Am I going to evaluate something? What are you going to do? How do you intend to carry out the, the study? Don't spend too much time on research design. If you feel that the research design is right, it matches whatever you want to answer, go for it. Jangan fikir uh, you want to do another study, you akan fikirkan the pros and cons of these two designs. Tidak ada. That will take more of your time. If you are comfortable with that design, you know you can you can you feel that oh this is the best method and you can do it, go for it. Okay. There is no saying that that is a wrong research design for that topic. No. Let's say you want <clears throat> because each research design is tailored to the question. Okay, it's tailored to the question. If the question is like this, then it's suggested you do like this. But if the question is this way, it's suggested you choose this. Itu saja. But bukan yang kata, oh, design awak salah. No. You cannot say design awak salah. Maybe the things inside there is wrong, but what you have chosen is chosen. Lah. That's it. Refers to the overall strategy utilized to carry out research is a framework that has been created to find answers to the research question. Getting started. Research design versus research method. Ah, ini benda yang kadang-kadang sampai hari ini saya sendiri pun pening. Is a plan, research design is a plan to answer your question. Okay. Uh -huh. Let's think. Design is to how you answer your question. Okay, okay, I got it. Okay. Method, not strategy use. Research design and methods are different but closely related because good research design ensures that the data you obtain will help you answer your questions more effectively. Okay. I'll come to this topic later on. Design and method. We just, for now, we just know the theory, we just know the headings and the definition first. Okay. Any questions so far? All right. Okay. Uh, design. Sorry, where are we? Uh, research design. So, dalam research design, <laughs> there are two types. We have explore, conclusive, descriptive, casual, cross-sectional, longitude, single cross-sectional, multiple cross-sectional. Start dari bawah. What is single cross-sectional? Single cross-sectional is satu tempo masa dalam tu. Let's say you are studying the project management of a project. The project to complete this building takes about 12, it takes about 12, uh, maybe about, let's say, three years. Uh, Cross-sectional means you study pada tahun yang kedua. Cross multiple cross-sectional, you study second year, third year. Multiple. Longitudinal, you study from day one until day uh, last year. Descriptive is you describe the data saja. How many number of people are there? How many number of engineers are there? How many architects are there? Are there kat situ? Okay. So research design is where you either explore or conclusive. Explore means you want to explore. You want to find out what is going on. Conclusive is you are doing the inductive work and you want to find out how to answer your question. So research design is that. Question. Our sales are declining and we do not know why. What kind of people are buying our product? Who wants to buy? Who buys our product? Who, who buys our competitor's product? What feature do buyers prefer in our product? 
causal will bias purchase more of our products in the new package which of the two advertising campaign is more effective if you were to look at the causal kat sini causal is the most easiest nampak tak di situ bias purchase more if new package that means kita nak melihat dengan package baru will buy orang beli lebih tak contohnya indomie indomie punya packaging ialah putih ah putih lah kot putih brown gitu tu kita tengok it's a very uh, unique packaging tidak pernah berubah packaging itu everyone kalau you lalu kedai you nampak itu that's indomie Okay, that's Indomie, you know. Even, even if you're not wearing your glasses, you know that's Indomie. But maybe if they change their packaging, sales will drop. Because people will like start, eh, that is not Indomie. You know, you know there are so many perceptions. Sometimes kita pergi kedai, kita nak beli brand lain, a different brand. But our eyes see this brand. Oh, kita belilah ini. But actually, we want to find a different brand. Oh, look at the brand. Okay? So that is causal relationship. Okay, descriptive is what kind mm. of people. So you're finding you're aware of the problem and you want to describe what kind of people. Who buys this? You want to find out this. Itu saja. Descriptive is you just want to find out. You just want to find out. Just. How many number of people are uh, in your, uh, sorry, how many number of, uh, <coughs> sorry, how many number of lecturers in your department are 50 and above? How many number of lecturers in your department are between the age of 25 to 30? How many number of people in your uh, department are working from home? Itu saja. Okay. Explore is why. Why is our sales declining? Why is students doing well? So that is an exploratory research. Why is students in the uh, suburb doing well? Uh, sorry, in the in the in the city doing more well. Uh, in, in sorry, doing better than students in the suburb. Explore. You want to find out why. Okay. The research question that lies beneath the analysis might be, is there a relationship between the share of migrant population in a given community and the way migration is seen by members? What does this mean? Baca pun sudah penuh. Baca pun, Ya Allah, Subhanallah, Masya Allah. Baik kita buka puasa. Saya sedap. Itu, itu sorry, sorry, sorry. Kita buka puasa. Belum lagi waktu. Ada sedikit masa lagi. Okay. So, when you read this kind of question, you want to explore, you want to find out. These are examples saja lah. You want to find out. What is the relationship between migrant population, orang-orang yang masuk migrant, and how is the community looking at them? Okay, exploratory research is ambiguous why our sales declining is usually conducted at the outset of the research uh, when the researcher do not know much about the problem to explore. You want to explore. Why do you want to explore? Because you do not know much about this research. Okay, so these are the uh, normal, dekat bawah ni, these are the normal uh, research design. You generate hypotheses, you develop measurement skills. Okay. Measurement skill itu ialah yang number-number given for the survey. In a scale of 0 to 10. Itu ialah scale lah tu. How much, uh, what is your skill in marketing? In a scale of 0 to 10, what is your uh, understanding about the subject? Descriptive is you want to know about uh, certain problem. You just want to know who is our competitor? Who is our uh, customers? So this is casual. You want to see what if if X then Y. If I exercise more, do I lose weight more? If I eat less, do I do I uh, lose weight more? If I exercise and I eat less, do I exercise more? Hey, sorry, do I lose weight more? 
Uh, <coughs> so you want to find what is the relationship? <coughs> Some people say intermittent fasting is good. Some people kata exercise is good. Some people kata minimum juice is good to lose weight. So we want to find out what is the relationship of all of these. Among these three, which is the best? So that is a causal relationship or causal uh, research problem. Okay. A casual block. Uh, okay, this is also another one. Lah. Okay. A relationship. A spurious relationship refers to a connection between two variables that appears causal but not. Okay, contohnya macam ni. Eh? This is a bit, a bit tricky. A city's ice cream sale. Eh? Penjualan ice cream di dalam satu uh, provinsi. Eh? These sales are highest when the rate of drowning in the city pool is at highest. To allege that ice cream is causing drowning would be to imply a spurious relationship between the two. Tak ada kaitan pun tetapi secara kebetulan, okay, secara kebetulan, bila matahari atau bila uh, cuaca di satu provinsi itu tinggi, Drowning, orang-orang, uh, drowning is also high. Secara kebetulan. Tak ada kaitan pun. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, it's like it. That, tapi kalau you baca cerita dia, cerita dia macam ni. Uh, bandar ni, uh, cuaca tinggi. Eh, cuaca dia, apa? Uh, it's high lah. So, orang banyak makan ice cream. So, bila orang makan banyak ice cream, <laughs> sales ice cream naik. Okay? So, cuaca tu sangat panas. So, orang pun makan ice cream. So, ice cream sales will increase. Tapi, selain daripada orang makan ice cream, orang pergi berenang. So, bila pergi berenang, orang tenggelam. So, there is two dekat sini. Cuaca tinggi, berenang, apa, orang uh, orang tenggelam pun tinggi, ice cream sales pun tinggi. Tetapi, tak ada kaitan pun di antara. There is no causal relationship between ice cream and uh, tenggelam. Tak ada kaitan pun. Dia cukup ada kaitan di antara So, yang tak ada kaitan itu kita sebut sebagai spurious relationship. Secara kebetulan. Another example is, let's say you exercise and you lose weight. You exercise and you lose weight. Exercise and you lose weight. You exercise and you lose weight. You exercise and you buy a new bicycle. Uh, you exercise and you lose weight. Okay? And your shopping, uh, shopping bill increases. Apa kaitan shopping bill dengan exercise? Tak ada kaitan. Tapi ceritanya ialah, bila you exercise, you lose weight, you become kurus. Bila you kurus, you tak boleh pakai baju lama, you kena pakai baju baru. So, your shopping bill increases. Tapi, is there a relationship between shopping and uh, cycling tadi? Tak ada kaitan. Dia cuma spiral secara kebetulan sahaja. Coincident. So, uh, yeah, in, uh, coincidentally, it happens. Coincidentally, it happens. Okay, coincidentally, we have There is no relationship. Uh, doctor? Uh, yes, yes. Sorry, doctor. Yang, yang tadi, uh, casual is type, typo kan? Casual ni kan? Causal. Yeah, yeah, kan? Uh, uh, causal, sorry. Causal. Oh, okay, okay. Lah, kok mungkin ada kes. Oh, sorry, saya pun nak tanya tadi. Okay. Now we go into statistics a bit. Uh, we will continue the class for another 10 minutes and then we will stop. Eh? Okay. okay. Population. So Ibu, in your province, this is population. Kalau kita ambil sample, kita ambil sample sedikit saja from your population, from your province. So this is the sample. So, if you are talking about the population of semua students in your uh, province, so that is the population. But it's quite impossible lah. Agak impossible to get that population. So, kita ambil sample. Tapi sample tu harus, must be a good, rather, good sample. So, let's say in that province, there's north, south, east, west. So, kita ambil lima orang daripada north, lima orang daripada south. The more on the uh, east west. That's how you get. Then you get a good sample. 
Kenapa? Why do we need to get a good sample? Sebab we need to get a good sample kerana kita nak bandingkan balik dengan population. We want to refer it back to the population. Okay, we want to refer it back to the population. But does the sample actually show yang macam tu? Example macam ni. Katakan di dalam uh, my housing area there are about 1,000 people. 1,000 people. As you come into the taman, you tengok dalam uh, dalam padang ada dalam 30 orang tengah exercise. Daripada 1,000 orang duduk di taman, you nampak 30 orang duduk exercise, tengah exercise lah. Tengah berlari-lari. But does that mean semua orang dalam taman ini suka exercise? No, that does not mean anything. That just means exercising. That does not imply Paki 70% dalam taman ini suka exercise. Tak ada. That is just the sample size. Okay. So, normally we say the higher the sample size, the better. Okay. Lagi tinggi sample size itu, lagi bagus lah. Kerana dia boleh buat judgement, it can uh, relate back to the population. Population is a complete set. Lah, semua. Reports are true representation of opinion. That means you take everyone. Kalau population tu, you ambil semua. Kalau you ambil semua, that means you have to take semua lah. Dalam satu taman, dalam satu kampung, you ambil semua budak sekolah yang berumur di antara 15 ke 18 tahun. Kalau, uh, kalau sample, subset saja sebahagian daripada population itu. Tetapi subset itu tak bolehlah macam hanya kampung A. We have to take kenalah ambil student daripada kampung A, kampung B, kampung C, kampung D. So that we get, kita dapat pegang semua subset itu. Semua, sorry, kita dapat pegang semua population. Kalau you masuk kampung ini, katakan kampung ini ada dalam seribu orang. So are you going to take Seribu orang yang you nampak yang uh, daripada lorong pertama. So you have to take randomly lah. Nah, mungkin lorong pertama lima orang. Lorong kedua lima orang. Lorong ketiga sepuluh orang. Mungkin tu. So on so. Okay. So how do we determine our sample size? Degree of accuracy required. Variable diversity in the population. That means you ada diversity. Number of different variables examined. Available of resources example time. Okay. So, yang important here kat sini is point number one is and point number two. Especially point number two. Diversity in the population. If you take everyone, let's say you're looking at uh, school, uh, stu school students between the age 15 to 18, janganlah ambil semua 15 je. Betul lah. What you're doing is correct. Betul. Tapi you have to diversify. 15 sikit, 16 sikit, 18, 17, 18. Okay. Jangan ambil semua perempuan je. Dapatkanlah lelaki sedikit. Alright? Mix them up. Jangan ambil semua yang uh, sekolah ni je. Cari sekolah-sekolah lain je. Get a good variety. Jangan ambil budak yang pandai je. Kelas nombor satu je. Take everyone. Daripada sekolah itu, ambillah beberapa student daripada kelas pertama, kelas kedua, kelas ketiga, diversify. Okay? And it's also based on time and money lah sebab if you have time, then you can do more lah. Okay? So data collection, two types of data collection. One is you use your survey, interview, uh, or you use secondary data. Okay, I think we will stop here at slide number 40. Uh, kita akan stop the analysis of data. Okay, so what have we learned today? We have seen a little bit of research process. Okay, we have understood a little bit of explorer, positivist, uh, interpretive. Uh, we have understood what is, uh, how to do literature review. Uh, what is the best possible way? Uh, we have also understood study. Uh, sample, sorry, population and sample, we have also understood that and uh, how to collect data, well, kita dah ada idea, beberapa idea, 
Uh, we have also looked at spurious relationship, causal relationship. Okay, uh, we have seen what is, uh, we have seen some examples of hypotheses, some examples of research area title. Uh, we have seen a few uh, <coughs> journal titles. Oh, sorry, uh, journal titles. Okay, we have seen all this. Okay, so that is our uh, conclusion for today. All right. So in the next class, next week, we are going to continue this. Uh, and we are going to continue on a new topic as well. We are going to look at how you start analyzing your data in general to do. Okay, in general to do. Okay. okay. Uh, we are going to touch okay. qualitative syndicate, quantitative syndicate. Okay, we're going to look at this. And then as we move along, we are going to go into a detail on quantitative. Okay. So the next, okay. uh, my class is only mostly on quantitative. But I have to touch on the analysis part as a whole, and then I will go detail on quantitative. Okay, okay. okay. So next week I will see you. Kita akan gunakan link yang sama. Okay, doctor. Uh, web back link, and I will save this uh, mm. uh, this video in my uh, YouTube channel, and saya akan sharekan dalam grup nanti. Okay. Ah, okay. Thank okay. You, doctor. Okay. 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 Good. Thank you so Good, much. Good, doctor. Selamat berpuasa. Okay. And uh, you, have, welcome. Uh, you ada soalan-soalan ke? Ada any question? Setakat ni saya tak ada. Baru baru hmm. nak digest. Okay. Nak digest. Okay. Yes. You, you digest. Oh, ni baru. Uh, mm -hmm. Kita digest bersama-sama sebab kita kena digest and you digest hmm. your food and things yeah. later on. Uh, later bila dah digest yeah. dua-duanya, you start thinking. Bila malam ni sebelum tidur, mm -hmm. tengok nak dinding, fikir kenapa aku buat PhD. Yeah. <laughs> then you ask me the question. Okay. All right. Okay, thank you so much for attending my class. Okay. Uh, thank you. Most welcome, welcome doctor. Inshallah, I will see you. Sama, uh, doctor. Sama. I will see you minggu depan lah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Inshallah. So much. Inshallah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, doctor. Thank you.